Welcome back. So we just finished the how to build a multi-rotor video series. Now it's time to start the PID tuning video series. In this video, I'm just going to give you the introduction to it, the things that you need to know, some tips, some tricks, some things to do and not to do because you could damage parts and waste a bunch of money. The very first thing I want to say is, well, there's two things. If you do want really good videos on how to tune your PIDs and filters and make your setting changes, then watch Josh Bartle. He is known as the king of PID tuning. And that's what he enjoys. That's why he makes so many videos on it. Where me, I like the hardware part of the hobby. And that's why I cover so many hardware type videos. And don't just watch him. Watch everybody. I mean, it seems everyone has given their own version of PID tuning. And there is many different ways. So. Uh, don't watch me and ex and just think that this is the only way to do it because there is a million different ways everyone does it different you need to watch everybody and you will pick up on how you personally prefer to do it yourself I mean even all the guys in Rotor Riot has at least made one video on their version of PID tuning now I know a lot of you have told me that you do watch Joshua Bartle's videos you do enjoy them they are informative but he doesn't make it that easy to follow along, especially if you were new guys. So uh, my intent, and when I give you my version of it, I'm going to make it as easy to follow as possible, you know, just like I do with every other video I make. I'll be using very loose terms. I'm not going to go super deep into it. No master class pit tuning sessions. I'm just going to show you the things that you need to know and how to do it and get a decent, a, a decent tune on your multi rotor. As far as my tips, uh, you can go too high on the P and the I, and you will get a bad flight, but really no other repercussions, where the D, you can go too high, and if you go too high on the D, you can smoke a motor or ESC. Whenever you tune your filters, and remove filters or filtering, you need to be especially careful, because that's an even easier way to smoke a motor or ESC. And don't worry, the next video, I'll be showing you how to tune your filters, and uh, I will warn you along the way on what to do and what not to do. Whenever you do tune your PIDs and filters, you want to use the props that you normally use. I know this sounds crazy, but changing props can alter and affect your PID tune. I highly advise buying props that come well balanced. I mean, you can buy props that are not balanced, and then you have to balance it yourself using a device like this and balance them one at a time with either sandpaper or electrical tape. It's very time consuming. It is a huge pain in the ass. Uh, but just me personally, I'm not about that life. S screw that. Uh, if I buy props that are not well balanced, I just throw them away and, s and find a prop that is well balanced. Or I just stick to what I know works well. If you ever crash, and uh, this especially goes for PC props that you can kind of bend back in place, Sometimes you can bend them back in place and it works out. Sometimes you bend them back and it's just too warped, it's too bent, and you will get a lot of vibrations. If you are ever at a point where you are flying and you can see the vibrations in your video, stop immediately. Just land it, turn the motors off, because uh, not only can your D being too high smoke your motors, not only can removing too much filtering smoke your motors, but also bent props will smoke your motors. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I mean there's been a bunch of videos where uh, you know the, the saying is that race flight can uh, make anything fly, and these guys will put four different props on it, four different motors, four different ESCs, and then go flying, and they're like, oh see, race flight, it can make anything fly, and then by the end of the video they're like, yeah, uh, something's wrong with my multi-rotor, I'm not sure what. They smoked a motor. That's what happened. Whenever you tune your PIDs and filters, if you do normally use a HD camera, then have it mounted as you're tuning these things. Uh, because the, the weight difference, it will change your center of gravity and offset some things. So uh, if, if you were to tune your PIDs and filters without it and then put it on, once again, your it's just like changing props. Your PID tune is going to be a little bit different and it's going to be a little bit off. Whenever you mount the battery, take note of how you mount it, and mount it in the same exact location every single time, because if it's too high, too low, to the left, or to the right, that will also change your center of gravity, and that will affect and alter your PID tune. That's going to be all my tips for now. I'm sure I'll think of more as we go along, and I'll tell you once we get there, uh, but that's just the basics. 
So that does it for this one. The next video we will jump right into tuning the filters. I do recommend tuning the filters first before the PIDs, but like I said, everyone does it different. Um, but yeah, I'll see you there.